Shockwave stock footage can really go a long way towards enhancing your sci-fi scene. Let's get you some free assets and then show you exactly how to dial in the look you're after. There is a link to some sweet looking free Shockwave stock footage in the description of this video. Simply browse to the bottom of the page and click the download button. Unzip the file onto your hard drive. You will find two different volumes, each with 10 Shockwave video clips. Bring them into your copy of HitFilm. Pick any clip and make it into its own composite shot. Add a plane layer above that clip and set the blend mode of the plane to color. Add a fill color effect and change the color to whatever you like. Put a gray layer above the plane and add a demult key. This will make the footage transparent, which will allow you to place it in your scene. You can now composite this into your shot. Make it a 3D asset by clicking this icon and go to work. To make your shock wave a little more vibrant, add one or more glow effects and adjust as necessary. Feel free to go back to your original Shockwave composite shot and adjust the settings as needed. Now, let's tie the Shockwave stock footage into your scene by using the displacement effect. Start by adding a new plane. Search for and add the Shockwave for displacement preset. It can be found in the 2D effects folder under presets. Move the plane so that the center aligns with the origin of your shockwave footage and increase the scale of the plane until it covers the viewer screen. Adjust the settings of the preset to taste and then add the speed effect. Move the playhead forward four or five frames and increase the speed until the shockwave is at the edge or just off the edge of the viewer window. This will be the leading edge of the shockwave. To add some more interesting displacement artifacts behind the leading edge, add a random shockwave clip from your media bin. Change the blend mode of the clip to add. Center the clip to the shockwave origin and increase the scale until it covers the viewer window. Feel free to use either the speed effect or the rate stretch tool to adjust the speed of the clip to taste. If you want, do this with one or two additional shockwave clips. When you are happy with the look of the displacement footage, move all of those clips to the bottom of the layer stack. Put a gray layer above them and rename it displacement map. You can tick off the visibility of those clips if you like. Search for and add the displacement effect to your main background video. Source the displacement map and change both the horizontal and vertical displacements to luminance. Finally, adjust the max horizontal and max vertical displacement sliders to fit your scene. Play around with the controls until it looks good to you. Add any other effects to complete your scene as necessary. In this shot, I added a phaser effect. Don't forget to color grade. When you're done, you should have a sweet looking shockwave effect that really adds value to your sci-fi scene. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do me a favor and like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Tutorials come out weekly. Thanks for watching.